Good morning, Central High School. Today is Thursday, January the 7th. Today is a B-Day. Let's begin this day, as always, please, with a brief moment of silence. Thank you. And now for Lift Every Voice and Sing. Thank you. Now for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 
All right, guys, yesterday, uh, as you all know, uh, many of you know, was a was a really dark day and a bad day for our country. And I want to uh, just kind of talk about that a little bit and give some direction about how we want to respond to that today and then also tomorrow. The first thing is this. You all learned this in ninth grade civics class. Actually, you should have learned this in in middle school. And that is that the United States of America government functions as a democracy. Uh, we are not a theocracy like some countries. We're not a monarchy. We are a democracy, and that means that uh, we are a, a country whose government is run by, by the people. We send representatives to Washington, D.C. to speak on our behalf and to uh, advocate for what's best for the state of Kentucky, to advocate for what's best for the city of Louisville, etc. And throughout history, democracy has been attacked. This is not what we experienced yesterday. It was not the first time that democracy has been attacked. Sometimes that attack is from a foreign body. Sometimes that attack are from U.S. citizens, from people who live right here in this country. For many of you, this is the first time that you've witnessed such an event in your lifetime. Uh, and so you you may be thinking, you know, how can I process this sort of thing? Because what we what, what, what we witnessed yesterday was insurrection at the Capitol. We saw we witnessed um, law enforcement officers who were complicit in that insurrection. We also learned this morning that there were at least four people who lost their lives yesterday as a part of that event. Uh, there were lawmakers who were put in harm's way. And this was all in an attempt to unseat democracy. All right. This was all in an attempt to unseat democracy. However, in the end, the work of Congress uh, continued on and democracy prevailed. They, the congressmen and women, our representatives, continued their work throughout the, the late night hours into the early morning and democracy prevailed. Last night, we also witnessed, or yesterday, we all know we also witnessed a stark contrast in the response to demonstrations yesterday versus the demonstrations that were held across the country and in Washington, D.C. this summer for Black Lives Matter and for other movements of justice. For many of you, this stark contrast may be upsetting, uh, and you may, you know, need some help and support processing what took place yesterday. Maybe it's not for that. Maybe it's just because this is the first event of this kind in your lifetime. But I want to provide space for you to to be able to address this situation uh, in a healthy way and in a productive way. And so what we've done is inside of your grade level Google Classroom, there is a form that I want you to complete if you need that kind of assistance. And then what we'll do is tomorrow um, to adequately prepare uh, because we want to prepare the right way. So tomorrow at 11, uh, we'll have a special space dedicated uh, so we can help serve any of our students who need that kind of support to help process what take place yesterday. It's very important that you understand, students, that we're here for you. And we want to respond the right way. You might say, well, why won't you do something? <clears throat> why won't you do something today? We want to have time to adequately, adequately prepare uh, to support you in the best way possible. And we, and we want to know how many students need what type of support. And so that form is in your grade level Google Classroom. And students, if you need that kind of support, we want you to fill that form out so that we can prepare appropriately tomorrow to support you. But you may be saying, Mr. Green, I need some help right now. I'm really angry or I'm really upset or I'm really having difficulty processing what's going on. If that's the case, please email your grade level administrator, the assistant principal or the counselor directly. You can also email Tangie Jones, who is our mental health practitioner, uh, so that we can get you the help you need today. All of your teachers uh, will be addressing this in some way, it, just to, at least to uh, get a temperature check to see where you are, uh, to see where each of our classes are. And so <clears throat> please take this very seriously, guys, uh, because what took place yesterday uh, is an awful event. I mean, it's, it's, it's maddening and it's awful uh, because it's an attack on our country uh, and it's an attack on democracy. However, we must press forward. We must continue to do the good work. We must continue um, to be leaders of positive social change. And, and it's important. Y'all hear me talk about that all the time. You know, yesterday was not the first attack on our country. It will not be the last. <clears throat> we will continue to be attacked. It may be from foreign countries. It may be from within again. But in that moment, guys, we have to remember that we are the leaders of positive social change. If you want to make a difference in this world, if you want to make a difference in our country, you have to be different. If you want to see change, you have to be the change. It starts with each and every one of us doing what we can within the power that we have. So as the principal of the school, 
Uh, my power that I have is that I want to remind you that you are a leader. What What is your power that you have? All right. What's the power that you have as an individual student? Exercise that power to make positive change in our world. What we saw yesterday was not a positive change. That was um, at uh, that was a negative. Uh, con- uh, it was a continuation of negativity. Uh, it was not positive change. And we want to see positive change in our country and in our world. So I want to encourage you to remember <clears throat> excuse me, you are a leader of positive social change. All right, enough for my mini sermon for the day. Um, but guys, just remember that we're here for you. We want to support you. Okay, Fellowship of Christian Athletes will have uh, a student-led campus group that's going to meet outside of school hours. The focus of this group is going to be serving local communities by engaging and equipping uh, through the gospel. And Mr. Gilmore is one of our new Spanish teachers at the school. He's going to host a, a question and answer session on, on Wednesday, January 13th at 3 p.m. If you're interested in learning more about that opportunity, we're going to have a link for you as we get closer for that day. You can also check out that website right there, fca.org, for more information. Uh, FCA is for non-athletes and it's for non-Christians. Uh, it's for any student at Central High School that wants to join that. Resolve to hashtag read woke in 2021. When you uh, get this, guys, click on this uh, flyer here for more information on how to become a leader of positive social change through reading. You can contact Miss Lane, who is our librarian, with any questions. We want to give a big shout out to Maya Robinson, Ruth River, <coughs> Riveron, excuse me, Jalesha Adams for achieving a co-op. Uh, paid with our dental magnet through Mortensen Dental. We're very proud of you, and we know that you're going to do great things there. Also, shout out to Kiara Bonner, uh, Devasia Brown, for passing your backpack defenses yesterday. We're very proud of you. All right, every day, you know, I close out the announcements with the same thing. We want to be responsible, respectful, and right on time. You've heard me talk already today about our school vision statement that we are that's our tradition as, as Central. For other schools, they might be starting that for the for the first time or the second time, but for Central students. And for central faculty, for central alumni, that's our tradition. We've been doing this for 150 years. We've been leaders of positive social change. So keep that trend going. That's our tradition as a school. And then finally, it's always important to remember, guys, life is all about choices. Make great choices today.